Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we'll discuss solving problems involving fractions, decimals, and percent. Our objective, solve problems involving fractions, decimals, and percent. But before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like this video lesson and subscribe na rin po kayo. So in finding the rate in the base, so a percent word problem has three values, the base or whole, the rate or percent, and the part which is denoted as P. Base denoted as B and our rate denoted as R. So yung rate class, madalas naman uh, kapag yung given natin merong percent sign, so uh, that is the rate. Now, uh, to, in order to find the percent no, in a word problem, we're using this formula. So, P is equal to R times B. So, yan ang magiging formula natin. Paano naman kapag ang hinahanap natin is yung rate? So, to solve for the rate in decimal form, which can then be converted to percent form. So, uh, paghahanapin naman natin yung rate, kung rate yung hinahanap sa problem. So, using this formula, P over B. At kapag yung base naman, yung missing or yung unknown, so ang gagamitin naman natin formula is P over R. So, to solve, this is to solve for the base. So, for example, find the 40% of 70. So, ilang, anong, an, ilan daw sa 70 yung 40%. So, find the 40% of 70 first. So, yung rate natin is 40%. Yung sabi ko nga sa inyo, kapag may percent sign, that is the rate. Uh, yan ang palatandaan natin. Kapag 40%, ibig sabihin yan, 40 over 100. Diba? So, uh, yung buong percent na ito is 100, lagi naman 100%. So, kung 40%, that is 40 over 100, i-apply natin yung natutunan natin sa previous na discussion. So, 40 over 100, that is 40%. Na kapag... Uh, ang denominator natin ay multiples of 10. So, let's say for example, since 100% nga, uh, kung ang denominator natin is 100, kung ano yung numerator, that is the percent sign, of course. Yan na rin yung percent form. So, 40% 40, 40 is equal to 40 over 100 in fraction. And then, our uh, yung base natin dito is 70. So, 70 yung base natin. So, paano natin kunin ngayon? So, ang hinahanap natin is uh, yung rate no, ng 40% nung 70. So, 40 over 100, kukunin natin yung percent. So, yung rate natin is 40 over 100 times yung base natin is 70. So, yung 70 class, uh, kapag whole number naman, automatic may 1 yan sa denominator. Dina yung denominator natin, laging may 1 yan kapag whole number tayo. So hindi lang natin nilalagay para uh, makita nyo lang no para makita nyo. So ila ilagay natin yung 1 na denominator. So after that, pwede kayo mag cross multiply or pwede rin naman na i-multiply nyo muna yung numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So or pwede nga sabi ko nga pwede kayo mag cross multiply. Uh, multiply dito. So So ang gawin na lang natin, multiply natin. 40 times 70, that is 2,800. 100 times 1, that is 100. So, 2,800 divided by 100, the answer is 28. So, ibig sabihin, 28 ng 70, ay, that is 40%. No? So, uh, yung 40% ng 70 natin ay 28. Another pro so. For problem number one, a salesperson sold a chair for 780 pesos and a pillowcase for 200, uh, pillow rather, for 200 pesos. If the commission rate is 12.5%, find the person's commission. So first, kailan natin identify natin yung given data natin sa problem. So ano yung mga given data natin? 780,000. Okay, so since uh, una muna pala, let's analyze the problem. Since yung salesperson, dalawang ano yung nabenta niya, yung chair and pillow, so ang gawin muna natin, add muna natin sila para makuha natin. Since uh, pinags, yung pinagsama niya, 
that is the commission rate it is 12.5% para na yan sa dalawa no para sa nabenta yung chair and pillow so 780 plus 200 uh, this is 200 so palitan lang natin yung given natin so should be 250 okay so pinalitan natin yung given natin should be 250 pesos Uh, so, after that, add natin yung dalawa niyang nabenta. So, there is 780 plus 250, a total of 1,030 pesos. So, yun yung total uh, amount no, na nabenta niya. And after that, since meron tayong 12.5% here, so, kailangan natin i-convert into decimal. So, 12.5%, paano natin siya i-convert into decimal? So, magmumove tayo ng 2 uh, units to the left. No? So, 1... So, that will become 0.125. So, after that, since ang tinatanong kasi, magkano yung commission niya? Dito sa total amount na nabenta niya, since yung commission rate is 12.5%, magkano yung 12.5% sa 1,030? So, yun yung uh, commission niya sa nabenta niya, na chair and pillow. So, using the formula, P is equal to rate times Uh, base. So, yung rate natin is 0.125 times uh, yung base natin which is 1,030. 0.125 times 1,030 is 128.75. So, ito ngayon ang commission niya. Doon sa nabenta niyang uh, chair and pillow with the total of 1,030. So, ibig sabihin, ang kinita niya doon ay 128.75. For problem number two, a person bought a second-hand car for, for 400,000 pesos and made a 15% down payment. So, how much was the down payment? So, magkano kaya? So, first, identify natin yung given data natin. So, the base is 400,000 pesos. And the rate is 15%. So, paano, ano yung hinahanap natin dito? So, the down payment, which is the... Uh, percent no kunin natin yung percentage nung for nung 15% nung 400,000 so yun ang down payment niya so yun amount ng down payment so 15% kailangan natin i-convert into decimal so 15% so mag lang tayo no uh, ng 2 units to the left so pag nag tayo that is 1 2 so okay 0.15 so using the formula 0.15 times 400,000, the answer is 60,000 pesos. Ibig sabihin, ito yung amount na dinown niya. Okay, ito yung down payment amount niya. Okay, so sabi kasi 15% down payment. So, ang 15% ng 400,000 is 60,000 pesos. Another, 35 out of 60 students preferred to eat their lunch at school rather than uh, going home during lunch. Break express the number in decimal. Okay. So, express the number in decimal. So, how we're going to 35 out of 60 students. Siyempre, pag gagamitan nyo ng calculator, mas madali yan. Of course, ang gagamitin natin dito para makuha natin no, yung in decimal form, We need to use the long division. So, long division tayo. So, 35 uh, divided by 60. So, since 35, cannot be hindi pa na hindi natin pwede ma-divide. So, magbabaro tayo. So, ilagyan muna natin ng 0. Okay, so, 0 times 60 is 0. 35 minus 0 is 35. So, magbabaro tayo. So, lalagyan natin ng decimal. And... Magbaro tayo ng 0. Bring down 0. So, 350 divide, uh, divided by 60. So, ano uh, anong pinakamalapit? 30, uh, 350 divided by 60, that is 5. Okay, kasi 5 times 6, 300. So, 5 times 60, that is 300. 350 minus 300, the answer is 50. Then, baro ulit tayo. So, bring down 0. 500 divide 60. That is 8. 8 times 60, 480. So, 500 minus 480. The answer is 20. So, baro again tayo. Magbabaro tayo ng 0. Then, 200. Bring down 0. 200 divide 60. That is 3. 3 times 60, 
180. So, 200 minus 180, the answer is 20. Then, borrow the 10 and 0, bring down. Then, 200 divide 60, still 3. 3 times 60, uh, 3 times 60, that is 180. Okay, so... So, kung mapapansin nyo, class, nauulit na, no? Na, nauulit na yung 3 natin. So, kapag ginawa ulit natin ito, the answer is, uh, ano yan? 20 ulit. 200 minus 180, 200. Magbabaro ulit tayo ng 0. Then, ang sagot ulit natin ay 3. So, ganun ulit. So, nauulit na yung 3. So, pag ganito, class, so, based din sa previous discussion natin, once na nauulit na yung number, so, ang gawin na lang natin, lalagyan natin ng bar sa taas, yung number na nauulit. So, therefore, 35 over 60 in decimal is 0 0.583. Since yung 3 ay nauulit na, so lagyan natin ng bar sa taas. The selling price of onions in increased from 80 pesos to 95 pesos per kilogram. What was the percent increase in the price per kilogram of onions? So, una, analyze muna natin. So, yung... Original amount is 80 pesos, tapos nag-increase ng 95 pesos. So, magkano rin yung amount na tinaas? 15 pesos din, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, the increase in price is 15 pesos and the base is 80 pesos. So, ito yung, original, ito yung dating amount, which is nag-increase nga ng 95, kaya yung increase in price is 15 pesos. Ang kukunin natin, uh, what was the percent increase? So, ilang percent ang tinaas from 80 pesos to 95. So, yan ang kukunin natin. So, using the formula, since rate ang hinahanap dito, so, P over B, so, yung P natin dito, that is uh, 15 over 80. So, yung base natin is 80. So, 15 over 80, so, pwede tayong gumamit ng long division or 15 o divided by 80 is equal to 0 0.1875. So, after nito, since that is the in decimal form, since ang kinukuha natin is the percent increase, so, ang gagawin lang natin, i-convert natin into percent form. So, mag-move lang tayo. Pag decimal to percent form, mag-move tayo pa right. Pero kapag percent to decimal, mag-move tayo pa left. Okay, so... 1 and 2, so that is 18.75%. Ibig sabihin, yung tinaas, tumaas ng 18.75% yung presyo ng, ano natin, sibuyas. So, the percent increase per kilograms is 18.75%. Another, a man invested a certain amount in stocks and bonds. After a year, his investment increased in a in value to 575,000 pesos representing a 15% increase so how much was the month's original investment so kung um, um, 575,000 pesos ay nagrepresent na ng increase na 15,000 so magkano kaya yung original investment so yun ang kukunin natin so since the amount of 575,000 represents the sum of his original investment and the earnings of this investment, the amount 575,000 is 115%. So, we all know na yung original natin, so that is, hindi natin alam, so lagi naman 100%. Since nag-increase siya ng 15%, so yung 575,000, that is 115% of the original amount invested. Okay, so yan ang kailangan natin kunin ngayon. Yung rate natin, so ang maging rate natin is 115%. If we are going to convert into decimal, that is 1.15. Kasi uh, mula dito, mag-move tayo ng dalawa pa left. So, 1, 2. So, kaya naging 1.15. After that, using the formula, since kinukuha natin yung original amount, so gamitin natin yung formula ng base, uh, P over R. So, yung P natin, is the 575,000 divided by yung R natin which is 1.15 and that is 500,000 pesos. Ibig sabihin, ito yung original amount niya na in-invest, 500,000 and then 
tumaas ng 15% kaya yung pera niya na naging 575,000. Ibig sabihin, uh, yung 15% na tinaas niya, yun yung 75,000. Kasi nagdagdagan ng 75,000 yung original amount niya. So therefore, the original amount of investment is 500,000 pesos. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.